what's going on in the second half? Um, we just talk about keeping our foot on the gas, just keeping our foot on the gas, make sure we don't get complacent. Uh, just that's what we usually say. Just keep our foot in the gas and, and keep playing, because you know when we come into halftime, the game is zero zero, no matter what the score was in the first half. Jake, what's going through your mind when that last uh, play is called on the third down? That final? Uh, just thinking, get to my spot. Um, I got, I had the flat route, so just thinking as, as fast as I can, get to my spot, and then look back for the ball. You didn't know it at the time, but you had what ended up being the game-winning touchdown and the pass catch to seal the game. Is this going to be a game you remember for quite a little while? Uh, definitely would be a game I remember for a while, just because you know, obviously the first the first touchdown. Definitely going to remember that forever. Um, yeah. And the feeling when you caught that last ball to oh yeah, to, seal to, the to seal the game. Yeah, that that felt good. Just knowing that you know you had the last catch. You know that's going to end the game. You know we're about to go into victory formation, and that it felt good. Mike said in there that they challenged you during the week. That what you're doing on special teams is great, but we feel you can do more. What was that message like, and how'd you try and receive it today? Yeah, they definitely did challenge me this week, uh, Coach. Coach definitely challenged me this week. Uh, I think he's just trying to light a fire in me, um, just get me going. A lot of times uh, I was kind of uh, in a fog a little bit, but you know, finally <clears throat> get him to light that fire in me and just go and just be able to play, just be able to play freely and just be able to play confidently. And it, it just felt good out there. So how did you three or four games Do you feel like today the defense closed the game more like you wanted to? Yeah, I mean, we want to finish the game like that every time, you know, so that's something we look forward to doing is just, you know, kicking butt early and staying on top of them. Thank you. Danica, what were you able to do on that last sack? Again, you were kind of uh, manned up against Quentin Nelson. It seemed like you were able to get skinny and kind of get under him a little bit. And did you have any kind of keys on him since your time here in Indy? Um, yeah, I had a little bit on him. I know Quentin. I've been going against him for the last four years now. So, you know, I got a couple keys on him. He got a couple keys on me. It's just a battle every time we see each other. So, you know, um, the last play was just um, something we had called up for the guys to get in the, inside the pocket. And again, you said you take stuff to heart, but is it, is it kind of ironic you get that sack over Quentin, someone who just got a new contract and in India, you know, you're kind of ending there with you looking for a new contract. It's just how just kind of full circle moment is that for you? Uh, like I said, you know, um, I don't really focus on that stuff, man. I just come here to play ball and then, you know, they know what time it is. You know, so I just, you know, just play ball and do what I'm supposed to do. And again, two total sacks. What what is the pressure you guys were able to get on the defense, especially through the interior? Because again, that's supposed to be any strength. But the pressure you guys were able to get today, just what's to say about the defensive line for the Bulls? Uh, I mean, we did good today. You know, I, I mean, we just got to keep it up and keep going. <laughs> you, you managed to get your hand on, on two balls today. Obviously, the second one you caught. How much is that a carryover from what you guys are doing with Coach T? I mean, it's, I mean, we do, like I said like earlier, we practice it every single day. So, like, that's definitely something that, like we put a lot of emphasis on, just trying to match the hand, disrupt balls, you know, getting quarterbacks throwing lanes. Can you take them on? <laughs> like I said earlier, like, man, uh, I closed the middle. Quarterback let the ball go. I matched the hand. It popped up. I, I just like, turned around, went looking for it, and it felt like it was in the air for like 20 minutes, and I'm just over here just trying to make sure I don't drop it. But I mean, it's, it's a huge, 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 huge for the team. They gotta, they gotta huh? Oh, yeah, they got to change my agility for sure and my catch rate. <laughs> yeah, and my play recognition. They got to get me right. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing was just like make sure I secure it for the team. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want I ain't want to drop the ball, so it felt like like I said, it was it felt like it was in the air for 20 minutes. So I just had to make sure I had dropped it. I ain't drop it. Who presented that football and what kind of reaction did you get? Who presented? I mean, I, I mean, this thing ain't leaving my hands since I picked it, but <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Folks who may not have known your athleticism, I mean, mm -hmm. you get a little display right there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come cut on the film. They can see me get twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that type of play, like, it's one that you expect to make? Is that, again, I mean, it was an athletic play. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I expect to make it. I mean, we're all pros. I just try to be the best athlete I could be every day. Uh, what were you guys saying there at the end of the offense struggling a little bit in the second half? It's on, on you guys, on the defensive side of the ball, picking up the slack. What's the mentality there? I mean, the dog mentality. We just go out there and make something shape. What did your teammates said about that play? You know, when you got to your sideline and celebrating. Oh, uh, they just kept saying it was a really athletic play. <laughs> they said I was on my head for a minute, <laughs> but I, I got like I said, I haven't got it. Well, I, well, I haven't got a chance to watch the play yet. But I mean, it was it was so we definitely remembered the moment. Something I'll never forget. Talk a lot about this. Get another one. I mean, I don't really get into the owner's battles and stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure he'll be. I'd be upset too if I was the owner. Obviously, uh, we've been able to win the division the past two years, and he understands that division 
you know, it's going to go through the Colts and the Titans and things like that. So, um, yeah, sure, I'm sure you want to win and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just happy to get a W, man. Obviously, about to have these guys coming up in about two or three weeks. Uh, so we're going to have to win that game at home, too. But uh, obviously, first and foremost, we got to focus on the Washington Redskins coming up. What kind of weekend is this for you? Jersey retirement and, and then the win up here. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's been a whirlwind for sure, man. Like I said, I'm just blessed and happy I've been able to play so long and obviously get my jersey retired, man. So like I said, man, I'm just taking for what it is and just thanking God every single day. So, so seriously, what did Brable say? To my, as far well, as he's like, I'm not going to tell you guys what I said <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, about the second half. So no, I mean, I'm tell us. I don't think he said anything no, crazy. Right, okay, I feel like right. he just wants, like, you know, you got to be better than the second half. But at the end of the day, man, we fought our ass off and we got a W. And so that's the, that's the only thing we're going to celebrate. Definitely. All right, yeah, no problem. Right. Yeah, for sure. Hell of a job by the defense closing that game out like that. Um, you know, sometimes we might give up a play. Um, the thing we bit our defense on, play the next play. But in our, and in our main focus this game was stop the run. I think they had, what, probably 40 some rushing yards. And I mean, that's testament to our defense. <laughs> Stop the run. We can win this game, especially on defense. So, um, like I said, I'm excited. We got our first um, win on the um, division game. You know, um, like you said, a win is a win, and we're going to enjoy it. Back, back to 500, too, especially after the start that you guys had. What's that? You're now back to at 500 to 2 and 2, especially after the start that you guys had with two losses. I mean, hey, we, we don't, we don't live in the past. We don't care about the losses. The only thing we care about are winning the next game. Um, you know, that, that's not going to. Um, um, that's not the losses that we had, not going to define all season. So each and every game, we're going to come in trying to win the next game. Even though you got the win, there's some frustration in the second half. I mean, 64 to 7, you guys are being outscored in the second half. I mean, hey, we won. Um, you know, we'll take the, we'll go in, get the corrections. But at the end of the day, we came out this win. Uh, we came out this game with a dub. I, I, all I know, the offense was in victim formation at the end. So. You know, what's better? So, I, I, like I said, I'm happy we got the um, dub, first division dub as well.